Welcome. In this video, we will walk through step four, train in the Insight Snap Sensor interface, focusing on training the 4Class Classifier app. To access the 4Class Classifier app, click the gear in the upper right-hand corner of the screen to open the settings menu and click App Management. 4Class Classifier should have a check mark indicating that it is selected. If it is not selected, click the Switch to this app button and follow the prompts. Click the X to close the settings menu. The 4Class Classifier app allows you to have up to four classes that build upon the same edge learning tools and training steps as the 2Class Classifier app with some enhancements. First, you can set the names and colors for the individual classes and choose if a class should pass or fail. This video assumes that you have already adjusted the image and set the ROI with fixturing. If you need assistance with any of these steps, please refer to their videos. The next step is to train our Insight Snap. This step is critical for teaching the system to distinguish between the classes that you are categorizing. We will be using terminal blocks as sample parts. A blue or gray terminal block or no object or part in the field of view will all be considered OK parts. When there is a brown terminal block in the field of view, this will be considered a no good part. If you are unsure of the next steps, there are live instructions below the training indicator on the right hand side of the screen to help you. From the train step, click the Edit Classes button. The Edit Classes dialog displays. Click the Add New Class button two times to add classes three and four, and then rename each class. Class one will be the blue block. Class two will be the brown block. Class three will be the gray block. And class four will be no block. You can change the color for each class if you would like, but let's allow the default colors to remain. As mentioned before, when there is a brown terminal block in the field of view, it will be a fail. To indicate this, check the set to fail checkbox for this class. First, let's train the OK terminal blocks. Place the blue terminal block in front of the sensor. Once in the field of view, click the blue block button. Next, place the gray terminal block in front of the sensor. Once in the field of view, click the gray block button. Repeat these steps until you have successfully captured three to five images of each block. Be sure to capture the different variations so that the sensor recognizes the part from all angles. Now let's capture an image of the empty frame. Click the No Block button. Repeat this two to three times. Now let's train the No Good Terminal Blocks. Place the brown terminal block in front of the sensor. Once in the field of view, click the brown block button. Repeat these steps until you have successfully captured three to five images of each block. As you are training the images, you will begin to notice bars appearing under the buttons. These bars represent the level of confidence in the system's pass or fail predictions. The highest confidence level will show three bars and the lowest confidence level will show one bar. The best practice is to strive for the highest confidence score, but if there is high variability with your classes, you may not reach the maximum score. As long as there is a steady output, you should be able to deploy with two bars. Once in the monitoring view, you will notice that it displays a real-time inspection of parts. Its confidence level will be displayed along with time logs and total inspection count. Cycle time is the amount of time it takes to process each image. The total number of passed, fail, and error counts are also displayed. New to the 4Class Classifier app is the class percentage. This shows the percentage of each class count compared to the total of all classes being counted. To learn more about the monitoring view, refer to the Insight Snap Monitoring View video. This concludes the Insight Snap 4Class Classifier video. For more information, check out the other videos in the Insight Snap setup and troubleshooting series. Thank you for watching.